they have a general purpose card that says fluttering by to say hi and be happy on the inside. So this is using the Butterfly Garden Artful Card Kit and several other little items. And if you like what you see, stay tuned to see just how I made this. So the star of today's show will be the Butterfly Garden Artful Card Kit. And it's got a really lovely spring array of colors with the teals, the greens, and the yellows. Um, so we've got, of course, your card idea on the front as well as several more on the back here. To just kit kickstart your creativity, here is an image of all of the pieces in the kit. But let me just give you a quick sneak peek. So we've got this lovely butterfly border paper, an all over floral, some more textured solids, some patterns, a lovely gold pattern, green, cute little checker pattern. And then here is the sheet of um, greetings and blanks. Those you will cut out yourself, but they're really easy because the lines are really simple. Then we have the die cuts. So some really fun images here as well as tags, borders, and labels. And there you have it. And these are all die cuts so they pop out easily from the back. And you can take off the nibs with your fingernail or scissors or craft knife. Um, and that's not all. We have three stamps. This is the hummingbird. Dragonfly and the Bee Happy. Two bottles of liquid pearls in avocado and peacock. And these, as you can see, go perfectly with the colors in your Artful Card Kit. And of course, we have the matching satin ribbons for the Butterfly Garden. So those all go together quite nicely. All right, now let's get started on the project. So, what I've done here is I've used the cute little hummingbird stamp. And I stamped that little bird on three different pattern papers. And what I'm going to do now is make one cohesive bird out of the three. So I'm going to choose the turquoise as my main base. And for these, I'm going to just cut out the wings of this piece. And I'm going to just cut out the belly here of this piece. And I'm going to glue them on here. Then once I've done that, I can go ahead and cut around outside of the shape. Now it's your choice if you want to leave a little bit of border or if you want to cut right on the line. Um, okay, so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. So you can see here how I've taken just the belly of this one and just the wings and the tail of this one and I've glued it onto the turquoise one. So all I have left to do is cut around just outside the outer line. I'm going to leave just a little bit of a turquoise border and then my hummingbird will be done. And there's my finished hummingbird and that technique is called paper piecing and um, this is using paper piecing with stamps. Now you can also do paper piecing with dazzles and that's kind of a different technique in which you back the dazzle with the paper, different papers. Um, but this is a great technique if you want to incorporate different patterns into your stamps. Now for my card, I have the 6.5 inch by 5 inch blank white card base and I cut a piece of paper just to fit on the top of here. Now this is coming from the butterfly border paper. So what I did was I cut it just to fit and then I went ahead and sliced just a tiny sliver of paper um, off of these two sides. And that way, when I glue on this paper, I'll have a pretty thin little line of white going around my whole card. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this to the card. So I've got my card ready here. I've got my hummingbird. And I've also punched out some of the die cuts, this beautiful oval. I've cut off the bottom because this is going to be glued right here on the card. I've also punched out this cute little ticket and I've stamped fluttering by to say hi and that is coming from this little dragonfly stamp. Stamp that with stays on since these are kind of a slick surface. Uh, and I've also got this cute yellow um, banner. This is going to be layered on the card 
like so. And I'm just going to begin kind of piecing together my layers. I've also got some mini little dragonflies. I just stamped them in black on the pattern paper and cut around them. And those are going to be foam taped around the card. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble all my pieces. Some will be glued, some will be foam tap taped, um, and then I will be back. And here's my card so far. I've added some of the little dragonflies. We've got the main hummingbird. And I also have added some extra die cuts here and here just to balance out the card a little bit. Now all I have left to add is some of the Butterfly Garden Satin Ribbon and the two colors of Liquid Pearls. So I'm going to go ahead and add those details and I'll be right back. Here I've completed the card front, so I have added the Liquid Pearls to several different areas. Um, I've added it to the die cut flowers just in the center and I've used the image as a guide to where to put the peacock liquid pearls. So these two flowers and centers of the yellow flowers and the petals here of this flower. I've also added it to the die cut frame here and I've used just the lines on the edges to use as my guide for adding those and the swirls here in the top. And finally, the hummingbird I've used just to add some pizzazz to the wings and the tail and the little eye. Um, so those are where I added all of the liquid pearls. And I've also zotted on a satin bow to this side. So now my card has a nice balance of where your eye is drawn. It's not just to one corner or one side. So I'm liking the look of that. And I also finished the inside for you guys. I have the dragonflies. These are um, paper piece, just like the hummingbird on the front, as well as the bumblebee. And those are the different small stamps that are in the bundle. I've also added some of the liquid pearls as their bodies. Now these are quite thick, so you'll want to um, leave them to dry probably overnight is best. I've also added the liquid pearls to the eyes of the bee and to the wings here and the background floral paper is my favorite out of the artful card kit and I like how it looks like these are fluttering around on a bed of, of flowers um, and this is a really beautiful die cut from the kit added a satin bow and be happy is part of the small bee stamp and this bee by the way is up on foam tape so he's kind of the center of attention and that is the finished card. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for today's bundle and I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching. First in today's bundle we have the Butterfly Garden Artful Card Kit. And there are 98 pieces in this kit including die cuts, cutouts, and custom papers. So first we're going to take a look at the packaging. Here's the beautiful card idea on the front. And there's three more cards that you can make right here on the back. And of course an image of all of the pieces in the kit. Here we're starting with these seven custom designed papers. So some really pretty colors here. I love the teals mixed with the mustard yellow and the greens. We've got some spring green and some olive green here. There we go. And then we also have here are all the greetings and I like that the labels are small as well as a little bit larger so you can pick and choose and you can also choose whether you want it to go vertical or horizontal so that's fun. Here are the beautiful die cuts which I'm so glad are die cut because all these detailed shapes would be a pain to actually cut out by yourself. We have some full length borders and those can be chopped up into whatever lengths that you want and we have some larger um, borders, swirls, plants, labels, butterflies, you name it. So that's all in the Butterfly Garden Artful Card Kit. We also have the matching satin ribbons. And here they are. They are all one yard. And look how pretty these colors go with the kit. Speaking of going with a kit, we have these colors which seem like they were made for it. So this is the peacock 
and the avocado and the liquid pearls and I love that how these give a really lovely pearlescent detail to your project as well as a little bit of dimension and three small stamps so we have fluttering by to say hi this is the small dragonfly stamp and it actually has a little dragonfly and a, a bigger dragonfly so there's fun we have be happy with a little honeycomb and a hummingbird stamp called and it's got captured joy as the greeting so all of these small stamps are nice because you get multiple stamps per set um, yours will have a backing and a package insert but mine are just samples so that's why they look like that all right those are all of the items in today's bundle i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next week